anything, if you're going to do it well, you need to have um, kind of your niche outside of Instagram. I don't think you're going to find it on Instagram. So that starts with having, you know, a business, obviously, for me. Um, but then a brand, too. You need to have a really solid, intentional brand, and you need to know what your brand stands for. So when I started with my Instagram account, I think it was in 2011, um, my business was kind of in the beginning stages, but I had a really clear idea of who my client was, um, what I wanted to do for that client, and how I was going to do it. Um, obviously nothing's guaranteed, but I felt really confident that, um, I had this plan and if I worked really hard and if I stuck to, um, what this plan was supposed to look like, that things would work, work out for me. So with that being said, um, finding your niche on Instagram for me, I boil it down to what I call the three C's. The first one is content, the second one's um, community, and the third one is consistency. And those three things I think have kind of been like the nuts and bolts of what's helped me do really well on Instagram. So we can break down all three of those. It's, um, we can get really specific, but the first one is content. And that is basically what you're putting out there for people. So for me, that includes um, pictures of the flower arrangements I do. That includes snapshots of my house when it's clean. Uh, that includes mock-ups when I'm with a client and I'm designing a tablescape for them and I'm giving a little sneak peek of what their wedding will look like. It includes selfies with my son. Uh, we have a, um, I call Fridays with Lachlan. I have a hashtag for that. And every Friday I've made it a mission to not work on that day so I can spend Fridays with my son uninterrupted. So every Friday that we're together, I take a selfie of the two of us so that I can remember those days and look back and um, kind of see that transition, if you will, from him going to a baby to a toddler. And then, you know, one day, hopefully he'll still want to hang out with me on Fridays. But um, for me, that's all my content. So that's me sharing parts of my life and parts of my business to people so that they can become um, fans of what I do and that they can relate to who I am and, and ultimately so that they can become brand ambassadors for Hey Gorgeous and True Vibe. So, so just on that, like, how do you find a, a balance between, you know, posting the, the personal photos, whether of your son or of your wife versus, you know, the, the professional ones? Yeah, I think it's different for everybody. I know some parents just don't agree with showing their kids pictures online at all. Um, and I know some people are all business and they show strictly professional pictures on their feed, which um, we kind of touched on this in some of our emails back and forth, Liam, but um, I share mostly iPhone shots. So Instagram was created as um, kind of a way to just share what you're doing on the go and you slap a filter on your picture and you share it and hope you get a couple likes. And I still very much believe in that approach with Instagram. I think um, for me in my line of work, if people want to see the best of the best of what I can do, and when I see best of the best, I mean like a professional um, photo. I have that on my website. I have that on my blog. I have that on Facebook. There's a million other um, avenues that people can go and see beautiful professional photos of what I do. But on Instagram, I want to be real and I want to show a picture that I took in real time of something I created or, you know, like a picture with my son. I want to show a picture of him and I when we're at the park. And guess what? I don't have like a photographer coming to the park with me to take images. So it's not realistic for me to always be sharing professional images. Um, so to get a consistent feed, I've had to default to sharing pictures that I've taken and that's really worked out. But um, in terms of the balance question, I think it's personal to each, each person really. For me, I try and alternate. Um, so I try to do an image that's related to business, maybe something that um, is personal, but not really a picture of me or my family, then maybe a baby picture here and there. I just, I, I like my whole feed to look like it's a good mixture of things. 